This is Adam Elik reporting from Egypt. Well, right now we're in Alexandria. Sharif Abdul Nasser is an Egyptian American. We're actually going to the mosque where I can actually, for the first time in like forever, attend one of these lectures. And that's something that you couldn't have seen in the time of Mubarak. His mosque preaches Salafism, a fundamentalist form of Islam. Some Salafis promote violence. And as a result, Mr. Nasser's mosque was banned under former President Hosni Mubarak. For decades, Mubarak repressed political Islam. No more fear in Egypt. And just weeks after his ouster, Egypt's now a democratic free-for-all for everyone from secular liberals to fundamentalist Salafis. Now Mr. Nasser's mosque offers political religious classes three nights a week. We're not really anti-democracy. Okay, the fact is that, you know, democracy is really cool. As long as we just have the main source of, you know, legal uh, rules coming from the Sharia law. What's happening here is a political awakening for Egypt's Salafi movement. For decades, they rejected politics. And some Salafis were responsible for Egypt's bloodiest attacks, including a 1997 assault that killed dozens of tourists in Luxor. Now, in wake of the revolution, Salafis are leaping on Egypt's political bandwagon. Their motivation? To influence the Muslim content in Egypt's new constitution. For the first time in decades, Salafis are preaching at universities, advertising on streets, and strategizing in five-star hotels. At this conference, leading Salafis said they're willing to form coalitions with other groups, including the more moderate Muslim Brotherhood, Egypt's largest Islamic political organization. At the Salafi conference, leaders also promoted equality and denounced violence. But some experts wonder if elected, will they practice what they preach? For example, some Salafis believe women and Christians should be banned from powerful government positions like the presidency. This famous cleric recently gave a harsh warning to Egypt's Christian minority. <laughs> Though he later apologized, other Salafis are now enforcing Islamic law, sometimes violently, on their own. This Christian says Salafis accused him of aiding a prostitution ring in March, and then they cut off his ear. And on Monday, in this village two hours from Cairo, Police say a series of attacks started when dozens of Salafis ransacked a cafe for serving alcohol, which is against Islam. Police say this injured man is a Salafi. He denies it, but he's still defended attacking those who drink. But one of the most notoriously violent Salafis is embracing the ballot over the bullet. Abu al-Zamr conspired to assassinate Egyptian President Anwar Sadat in 1981. In March, he was released from prison. And in the new Egypt, he has a grand platform to espouse his views. He says he's now retired from jihad. When he described voting in a recent constitutional referendum, he sounded like a changed man. Now he's even thinking about entering politics. Mr. Zamr's candidacy, like Egypt's infant democracy, will be put to test come November. That's when Egypt will hold parliamentary elections.